Hi guys and welcome to another Diddly Theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we've got a couple of buttons for you today. They're custom buttons that I built here. First one, it's going to change text when you hover over it. It's also going to change colour. As you can see it goes from more info to let's go. Second one, it's going to change colour, text and the icon's going to change as well. As you can see the icon and the text change on that one. And the third one, the text is going to change and the background colour of the icon is going to change as well as the icon. And these are really easy to do. We're not using any CSS coding for this today. We're just using the inbuilt features of the Divi theme itself. And it's really easy. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable my visual builder. And let's go on down to where we want to work. And I'm going to create a new row, let's add a new row here, put in what you want because I've got three buttons here I'm, I'm doing three columns in the row. Divi comes as standard with all the light grey modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. Um, and today we're not actually using a button module, we're using a blurb module. So I'm going to hit the, the blurb, put in whatever title you want to go here. This is what your button is going to say or at least for my, the way I'm doing it. So let's say more info. Now, I don't want any content there at all. If you want a double line button, you can leave a bit of content in there. That's up to you. I'm going to get rid of mine though. Image and icon down below. I want to use an icon. And something appropriate to more info, perhaps an exclamation mark. That'll work fine. And as usual with a blur module, it's put it on top like that. That's fine. We can go and style things in a minute, and put it how we want it. Moving on down, we got the link. Now to turn this into a button, you want it to link somewhere and you want it to put, put your link in the module link, not just the title. Put it in the whole module. So that way, if they click on the icon, the background, all the text, it's going to take you where they want to go. I'm just going to put a hashtag in there to represent a URL. Best practices as usual, if you're linking to your own site, leave it in the same window. If you're linking off site to somebody else's site, put it in a new tab so your site stays open. Okay, background. Let's put a simple color in there. I'll give it a blue background. And there we have it. Doesn't look like much at the moment, but it is the actual building blocks of our button. Okay. Let's move over to our design tab now image and icon well I want my icon to be white I want it to be on the left hand side if you want to have it on the right hand side we can do that but we have to use some custom CSS in the advanced float right on the blurb image right there but we're not doing that today we're just going to leave it on the left here okay so it's on the left it's still a little bit too big so let's back to our design tab image and icon where we were icon font size let's take it down a little bit in size get it to whatever size you want it sort of button size you know 25 will do now next we've got our text or our title text so let's go to our title text I'm going to pop that in the middle I want to make it white I might want to take it down just a little bit in size. I don't know, maybe that was okay. Uh, and we can adjust the line height if you want to make things larger or smaller. Now it looks to me like we've got a different bit of padding on the top and bottom of this. We can adjust that with our padding in a moment. But we've got the icon the way we want it. We've got the text, the color that we want it. So let's go on and do some padding and make it the shape that we want. So rolling down, we've got spacing. So let's put, say, 10 picks on the top. And need less on the bottom, so I'm going to put maybe 5 picks. Still a little bit too much, looks like. And we want that icon to be in the middle there. So I'm looking at that icon, that looks about right. And we can adjust our text now, the line height, to bring it down so it's right in the middle of our 
icon right there. So let's go back up to our title text. We'll just adjust the line height there just a little bit. We'll get it right in the middle, which is about there, 1.4 M, and then shave off a bit of that padding on the bottom. I think that works for me. Obviously, do yours how it looks right for you. Go into our spacing, and let's shave off a couple of picks. That looks okay. That's about right. Great. Okay, and I want to put some padding both left and right, so I'm going to use about 15 pixels. Just put in the 15, it'll put in the picks. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side for you. Let's go down the border. I'm going to give it slightly rounded corners, maybe four picks. Again, just put in the four, it'll put the picks in. As long as the chain there is highlighted, it'll do all four sizes, all four sides at once for you. Great, well, that's looking a bit more like a button here. Now, it's a little too long. I want mine a lot shorter than that, rather like the one above. I'm going to shut up the border right here. And we'll go back to sizing. So let's put in the width that we want it in the width right here. I'm going to put it in picks. I'm going to try 200, maybe a little bit too much. Again, just put in the 200, it'll put in the picks for you. Yeah, a little bit too much. Let's try 180. That's okay. Let's just try aligning my more info to the left there. So we're good with the sizing. And that's the title text. Let's pop it on the left. There we go. That looks more sort of central there. Now we can go back in our sizing and pop that in the middle of our column. So we'll close up title text, go back to our sizing, and we'll pop it in the middle of our column, module alignment right here. There we go. I'm just going to add a little bit of box shadow to it. So if we roll down a bit more, here's box shadow. Of course, that's entirely up to you whether you want to do that. OK, so we've got our button now. We've got the link. We've got what, what we want it to say. And we've got the icon. So we want to make it change the text and the background color, color on hover. So let's go back to our content. And we'll go into text where it says title there. Common to most Divi modules, if you hover up over the dark writing there, some icons will pop up. If you hover over the title up here, you've got a little arrow that will allow you to set a desktop state and a hover state. Hover obviously is when your mouse is on it, desktop when it's not. So on desktop, we want it to look just exactly how it is right there. That's great. But on hover, we want it to say something else. So let's, let's say let's go or something like that whatever you want your button to say on hover great okay and just to check if we flip the desktop there we go it says more info hover let's go and the background simply got to do a color change on hover same thing go up hover over it till the icons appear hit the little arrow hover color let's make it green there we go hover it's going to say let's go and be green and desktop more info. So that's our first one done. Let's make sure it's going to work on the front end. I'm just going to save my page changes here. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit the visual builder. Roll on down. And there we are. There's our little button right there. That seems to work absolutely perfectly. As you can see, it's got the hand icon, so the link's working. Background color is changing and the text is changing. All right, well, let's create the one where the icon changes as well. So that's this one right here. Really simple. I'm sure that you probably figured out how to do that now. So let's enable the visual builder again. Roll on down to where we want to work again. And I'm going to clone this button because there's no point in doing all that work again. So I'm going to hit the two little boxes there to clone it. Drag one over. It doesn't matter which one. Let's go inside. Obviously, change the link to where you want this button to go, the same way. And what do we want to happen on this? OK, we want the icon to change as well. So still on content, let's go to image and icon. And it's exactly the same thing. Let's hover over where it says icon there. You've got a little arrow. Desktop, we want it just as it is. When we hover on it, it should turn green when we hit this. 
let's change that icon to something let's use that double forward let's go something like that forward looking icon like that fantastic great so I'm not going to save this and check that it works because I'm pretty sure it will uh, but let's clone it again and now we'll do this one with the two-tone background so let's clone this one again drag new one over here again it doesn't matter they're both identical we'll go in here and again of course change the text to whatever it is you want your button to say the icon put in whatever icons you want to switch between I'm gonna leave mine just at the ears but the background here we're gonna change that so we've got our icon segregated with a color so I'm gonna go into background I'm gonna get rid of what's there I'm gonna go into hover and get rid of what's there if hovers not out there remember just hover over the dark legending hit the arrow and these two will appear if it's available and it will be for if you're using a blur module like I am okay so we've got no colors there I want an actual gradient this time so I'm going to go to the desktop state I'm going to hit add gradient which is the second one we've got color gradient image or video I'm going to hit add background gradient that's great but I want my green on the left and I want my blue on the right so I'm going to leave it as linear rather than radial and I'm going to ramp this up to 270 which should push that completely on the left hand side there we go we got the green on the left and the blue on the right there but we want them as separate colors not as the gradient if you were to do it at 90 the blue would be on the left and the green would be on the right so to achieve this we need to make our start and end position similar so if I ramp this up to about 70 it's probably going to be too far and put the end position to the same place 66 it is at the moment as you can see it's almost separated that completely it's a little bit too much so let's go a little bit more I have to do it by eye that's about right either side maybe just a little bit more you can increment up and down with the little arrows there let's keep it at 70 and let's just pop this one up to 70 as well and now we've got a completely different color for our icon than we do for our button but I want that icon to change color when we hover over it and it's the same thing that we've been doing I'm going to go up there's desktop state with that one hover state all I want to do is change the green to perhaps a red so I'm going to select the green and pop in a red there we go so when we hover it's going to look like that when we don't it's going to look like that so we should be pretty much good to go let's save our changes save to page changes save draft or publish and let's exit the visual builder and we'll go on down now here's our new button the first one's going to change text and color the second one's going to change text color and icon there we go and the third one is going to change icon background color and text and icon so there we go there we go and those are some eye-catching little buttons right there if you want to slow things down you can go into the um, advanced tab and change the transition duration to a bit longer if you want it to be a little more gradual but that's entirely up to you but that's some nice little buttons to have on your site really easy to do like I say no extra coding involved so I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.